Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today is season three, three, of the Sea Life, whatever you want to call them. You can make whatever you want with these. So if you miss season one, this was season one, the turtle and the starfish with a crackly background. So you can go back and find that video if you have not seen it. Season two was last week. That was the seahorse and, whoops, the dolphin with a transparent background. Probably can't see these very well because of where I'm holding them, but that was season two. Season three, I'm going to do a blue crab and some plant life. So like I tell you guys all the time, I always read your comments. I don't always comment back but I always read them. So on this particular one, I'm gonna take two different people's recommendations or their idea. So one person asked, couldn't you fill in the spots behind, well, I guess these empty spots that come out, like I'll show you on, let's say the starfish here. So these spots here, they asked if I could back them behind the resin before I filled the backing in. And I thought about it. I'm like, well, I don't see why you can't do that. I never even thought of that. So that way you're not seeing the background and you're actually filling in the actual animal. So since this one has a few spots, that's going to be like this spot here is not going to be taken up a couple little pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to back it with a different color UV resin that way before I put the back coating on that whole animal. And the reason I had a hard time, I was going to fill these ones in after I um, demolded it or before I put the background in. But these holes were so teeny tiny that there was no way I was gonna be able to do that. So had I thought of their idea, I could have done that on the back with a different color and then put the background on. So I'm gonna try that on this one. The other idea is a background somebody suggested. And they said, maybe if I used a sandy color background, I'm thinking sand itself, you would be able to see the colors a little bit better because the colors on these were a little washed out from the blue. And you couldn't really see the right colors that I did put in there in the first place, which they are true. That was right. So I'm going to do sand on the background of this one. So if you guys have suggestions, I have two more in the series. This one is an octopus, and then I have the shark. So what are your recommendations on backgrounds for those? And let's see what we can get done. So I have all my colors picked. I have my UV light. This is the dual-sided one. Let me back up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing in case you have not seen any of these things that I've been using. Okay, this is the dual sided light. So when you turn it on, the top and the bottom will shine and it will cure both sides at the same time. Everything's linked below. I have for my colors, I'm going to do a blue crab today. So I've chosen this bluish green. Aquamarine is the name of it. And there's a blue green tint in there. I have some white UV resin. These are all diamond dust. White is for the bubbles. I have two green colors and I have a little bit of black. The black, I'm going to be doing this horrible tiny little skinny plant, which I hate that plant. And I think I'm going to do the outline this time in black. Now somebody also suggested use a toothpick. I have a toothpick and I was comparing it to my scribe. Somebody asked what this was. This is actually used for cake decorating. Well, I do sugar cookies, which is very intricate like this, and you use a scribe for that. So this is where this came from. So I can link the scribe. They wanted to know where I got it. But if you look at the tip, it's exactly the same size. So this one's a little more sturdy than a toothpick and a little larger for my hand. So that's why I use my scribe and not a toothpick. So, are you guys ready to get started? All right, I think I am going to start 
with the hardest thing first is that stinking little plant that doesn't matter what you have. I'm also going to do my little fish up here. I do the fish black only because they're so tiny and I want to be able to see them. So if I picked a color, I don't know, one little drop is too much for these little fish. This is how intricate this mold is. So if you don't have patience, I don't suggest doing it this way. If you have other suggestions on how to fill this mold in, let me know. Maybe I can try them on the other two. But I don't know how else to do it at this point. So a lot of this I am going to fast forward because it's, like I said, it's um extremely slow and very detailed. And you're not going to want to watch me do all this, so... I'm also going to be using these little silicone tip tools for places like that that I get out of the lines. Okay, so this tree here is so, so tiny. I don't know. This one looks thinner than the last one I did. I do put it in this larger part, hoping it's going to just make its way down the branch lines, but it doesn't. I don't think it's going to. Then once I get certain uh, amount in, I will throw it under the UV light for just a second, just to get it set. That way if I'm moving it around, it's not going to move.
Okay, so far so good, right? All you gotta do is fill it and cure it. Now it's not completely done, but it's I just threw it in there long enough to get hard. Okay, so those were all pre-mixed UV resins that I bought off Timu. Like I said, I'll link them below. Now I'm gonna mix my own. So this is, all you have to do is take your UV resin. I use this one. This is clear hard type. This is the normal viscosity, it's not the high one. All you gotta do is stick some in a little container. And put your glitter in there. Find a spoon. Mix your glitter in and test a little section. And make sure. I've already tested this one on prior videos, so I know it will work with UV resin. Just make sure it's not too like opaque or anything. You want it to be able to penetrate your resin so it'll cure. So I will test this one too, because I did dump a lot of glitter in there. So I'll do a little tiny section, make sure it's gonna cure before I do this whole thing and then have to wipe it out, because wiping it out is definitely going to affect it. So I'll just do this little claw area. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I put my resin on the top of the light so it doesn't get cured sitting to the side of it. I've done that before too, so let's just see if that'll work and then I will adjust if needed. All right, it worked out really well. It's cured and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. All right, now he's cured, and I think I'm going to go in with my super fine silver sterling, and I'm gonna cover all these spots inside the crab and cure them, and we'll see if that works. I don't see why it won't work, but so far it looks pretty good on the other side. So yeah, let's try that. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna squirt a tiny bit of resin. You don't need much. I did end up with a little bit of extra I made a few pendants out of. I don't wanna waste anything. We're gonna mix this up. And I'm just gonna go over those pieces that are sticking up. And hope, hopefully they stay in place until I cure them. I think this is a brilliant solution. Whoever you were out there, very, very smart. I'm sorry, I don't remember names when I'm reading through comments. I do read the names. But there's so many comments that I can't remember who says what. So whoever you are, I'm giving you credit for this. <laughs> I think that's all of them. All right, just gonna get this cured, move my glitter out of the way. Or I spill it 
And then we will go in with some sand, but I'm gonna use regular epoxy for that. All right, I got this fully cured. I put it in there for five minutes. So it was doing the top and bottom for five minutes. So everything is nice and solid. Yep, okay. I mixed up one ounce of my normal casting resin. And I'm not gonna use my local beach sand because it's too white and I think it'll just be too light. So I got the play sand that I have purchased just to give it a more sandy look. Sand that most people know. I mean, I like our local sand, but I just think it's gonna be too fine. It's, it's not even sand, it's actually quartz. So I don't think that's the right choice for this one. So I'm just going to pour it over, turn the heat mat on. I don't think it's gonna take all of this because I know these didn't hold very much at all. And this should be cured in about an hour. So this is a quick one day, one day event. I don't have many of those. Most of my stuff takes a couple days to do. So I like one day events. I'm just gonna move it down into all these little pieces. Even though you won't see it behind there, but you still need it back there. Hopefully those pieces don't break off when we're demolding. Yeah, I've got a lot left over. So I have to find something I can make sandy for an extra. There you go, guys, that was easy. I'll spray it with alcohol to pop bubbles. Turn the heat mat on and be back in an hour. It's time to unmold, you guys. It's only been like an hour, hour and a half. I don't know, I wasn't really timing it. So I do have question of the day today, so get ready with your little fingers on the comments. I have a bunch of extras I made from the leftover UV resin I didn't wanna waste. So the question is, First of all, I'm gonna show you them anyway. Do you wanna keep seeing extras that I make or should I just get on with it and do the demolding of the project? So in future videos, because I have a lot of extras, sometimes I have a lot, sometimes I don't have any. But the question is, do you want to see the extras? So today's, this was the green and the glitter extras so earrings this pendant will go with these earrings whoever gets them so those were those i had some silver left over so i made a long um pendant out of it kind of pretty that's the back that's the front and then with the sand i decided i was gonna make some jewelry so I made a pair of earrings and a pendant. So those are those. Aren't they adorable with the sand? They're a little heavier than a normal earring, but they're not that bad, especially since I put the little metal piece on there. But anyway, those are the extras from today's project. Let's move on. Let's get this unmolded and see what we got today. So give me suggestions. I showed you the other two I have left to do. So let's think of something a little different for season four and season five. <laughs> all right, well, it all came out of the mold. Ready? Not bad. Look at that, it worked. It worked. So all the other ones I top coated. Um, I don't think I'm gonna top coat this one, you guys. I think, 
I think I'm just gonna top coat the crab because the silver glitter is a little uh, dull because the mold was dull right there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna top coat this one. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't think this stuff will break off or anything. It is 3D. I don't know. Let's let me try to top coat this crab. I didn't expect to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll be right back. So when you top coat and you want control, that's when you pull out your high viscosity UV resin. It's thicker and it will stay in place better. So because I don't want to. Oh yeah, see that makes the the silver glitter really pop. I'm just gonna go over this guy, get it spread really good, carefully. I think I missed his feet with the silver, but that's okay. I'm gonna do half and half, well. Just gotta be careful, but this this high viscosity UV resin makes it a lot easier to stay where you wanna stay. Now, if you have bubbles in your UV resin, I did really well today, I didn't really have any, but if you do have bubbles, you just pop them with a lighter, like a long neck lighter, and get them popped. I see one of his legs is a little missing some glitter. We'll just say he was running from an enemy and he lost a leg. That's what I'm going to stick with. Because they do lose legs out in the wild. They lose claws. They can still live without them. They'll grow them back, actually. All right. And this way, he's all one level. This one looks pretty cool. I really like the sand. I mean, you can hang this on a door, like a slider door, so you don't go running into the door when it's really clean. <laughs> this is the leg right here that I missed a little bit of glitter. All right, I think I got it all. I am going to get this cured and be right back. Here he is, you guys. All cured and sparkly. What do you think? Was that the right decision? I think it was. Should I do the plants too? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like them. Here's the back. All sand, obviously. Boring. But what do you think? Let me know. All right, y'all. I hope you have a blessed night. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.